and welcome to Matt Cigars and Whiskies, the YouTube channel where myself, Matt, will drink whiskies and various other alcoholic drinks at various other times, but mainly whiskies, to give you my thoughts, my recommendations, and basically an overview of what I feel is a flop and what I feel is a perfect buy. So, today, you another whiskey uh, review. This one I'm going to be doing, it's not a full bottle I've had myself or bought it, so a sample that I have received yet again from somebody in my All About Springbank Secret Santa sample swap. Now this sample is not a Campbelltown, it's not a Springbank at all, but it's one that I've never tasted before, and to be honest with you, when I received it, I was quite happy with looking at it. This whiskey is the Master of Malt 1990 32 year old blended whiskey. It's still on the uh, website, it's still available for £89.95 and this is only one of 337 bottles. Now basically it is a 40 percenter, I believe it is chill filtration and I believe there has been colour added to it, which you know, it is in my view that's taken a little bit of the happiness of receiving this whiskey away uh, because I do like chill filtration, I do like natural coloration. But hey ho, it is what it is at the end of the day. It's a blended whiskey of whiskies from 32 years of age, and they've basically married them all into one cask. And this one cask has then sat there, has produced 337 bottles out of it. Marriage time, I do not know how long they left it in there for. Um, I couldn't find any information about that whatsoever. All I know is that they've put all these whiskies together and they've created their own blend. Now, we'll go through this in a little one. But, like I say, it's 40% as well. It's not a heavy hitter. But this is the whiskey in question. Now, if you look at that, you can see the caramel colour, you can see the golden coloration in it. 40% viscosity wise. It's a runner. It's a runner. It's a loose whiskey. It's not heavy. It's not oily. It's one that is very, very watery. Being 40%, it has been watered down. You know, this is unfortunate. 32 years old, watered down. Obviously, it is a combination of various whiskies from around Scotland. Um, but, you know, they're charging 90 quid for it. You would have thought they would have been able to keep maybe a little bit higher ABV. Maybe the 46% mark, so you wouldn't have to be chill filtered. Um, no colour added. But there we go. It is what it is. Slightly golden colour, like I say, you can tell the caramel's in there. It does look quite, it's not a thick golden colour, it is quite a, well, I wouldn't say transparent, but it's not, it's not like a heavy oaky colour or, there's obviously no sherry in there or anything like that. It looks very bourbon orientated, if you ask me, but hey ho, that's just it, what it is, if they're selling a 32 year old blended whiskey, I can't see there being any oilers in there. I would have said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll give you my thoughts in a minute about that. Let's go into it, let's tuck into it, let's see what we can get. First things first on the nose, I'm getting heavy brown sugar, I'm getting lemon. Washing up liquid, you know there is a type of a cleaner, cleaner like a um, acetone type smell in there. Also getting at the end of this, I'm getting raisins. I'm getting a very doughy cakiness as well, like hot cross buns. Very Speyside. Very, very Speyside influence, I would say, on this. It's all pointing towards Speyside. It's pointing towards... A lot of heather. Heather in there as well, I'd say. It's the floralness, the crispness, the cleanness, the springtime sort of uh, smells I'm getting off this. But that's just the nosem. You know, that is just the nosem. I'm definitely getting space side on the nosem. It does smell inviting, though. It does smell nice. It does smell like a whiskey that. 
there's no flavours overtaking the other. There's no no there's no smells overtaking the other. It's a very rounded nose and on this to be honest with you. Definitely one I could put in front of somebody and expect them to not turn their nose up if they were new to whiskey drinking. Um, if they were not into the heavy hitters. But of course, the nose in. Yes, the nose in is part of the whiskey, but let's get on to the main thing, the actual taste. Let's get on to the mouthfeel of this. Hate to say it. So watery. Super, super watery. Very, very wishy-washy within the mouth. But there's a lot of vanilla. Considering it's a 32-year-old, there's a lot of burn in there as well. I'd even say like a slight rye type burn, but I can't see there being a rye. There could be. There could be a rye or a slight grain in there, but I would say it's... I don't know. I don't know. There's, there's a slight burn in there as well, which I can't put my... Uh, my taste buds on there's a drying oakiness within it as well still the spiciness comes through this seems a lot younger than what it is but there's a lot of orchard fruits in here unripened sharp sharp apples really really unripened sharp apples at the back of that and yet again i'm getting the cakiness i'm getting the doughiness I'm getting like a vanilla custard tartness on there as well, or more like a vanilla cream slice. You've got the sweet sugary top on it, and then you've got the doughy flaky pastry with the custard vanilla-ness in the middle. Heavily bourbon influenced, bourbon cask influence, I really would say. Massively, massively bourbon cask influence on this. But the dry in as well, the real oakiness, the dry inness of that oak. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, it is not bad, but if I was to taste this in a blind taste test, there's no way I'd put it down as being a 32 year old blend, I really wouldn't, you know, it tastes a lot younger than that, It's there's definitely some youthfulness to it, well, there's obviously not youthfulness to it because it's being classed as a 32 year old, but there's got some youthful flavours coming through, the sharpness, the dry and, and the burn. But the finish for this, the finish for this is extremely dry. Really, really dries your mouth out. You know, really, really dries it out. There's a lot of apple in there. The sharpness is coming through. It's very oaky. But at the end of it, there is a real custardiness, you know. It's that vanilla. The vanilla's rolling around in there. The vanilla is coating everything. And right at the very end, it comes through. And like I say, I really do believe that is the bourbon, a heavy bourbon cask influence in this. I may be completely wrong. But that is what I'm getting for it. And with the fruits, the crispness, the sharpness, I'm saying there's a lot of space side in this as well. Probably more space side than anything else. Whiskey rise, I wouldn't even like to guess what type of um, whiskies are in here, what distilleries, etc. But that's just my thoughts on it. Is it worth 90 quid? No. No, not in my eyes. It's really, really not. 45, 50 pound max. Um, it doesn't, t it doesn't give the round smoothness of a 32-year-old whiskey, you know. There's a lot of sharpness in there. There's a lot of acetone in there. It does come across younger than what it is. And the flavor-wise, with the massive custardy bourbon cask, bourbon cask, who knows? That's just my um, guess. Influence on this. Yeah, don't know. Don't know, it's not, it's not worth £190 anyway, put it that way. Marks out of 10 for this, it's going to be a 6 out of 10. It's not good. Not great at all, to be honest with you. Not for the money, not for the age statement. But hey-ho, it is what it is. Anyway, I still managed to finish that little bit of dram I had left from the uh, sample, but that's all good. So there you have it, that was the Master Remote 1990 32-year-old blended whiskey. Thank you very much if whoever sent this to me is watching. You know, I am not at all poo-pooing that you've sent me this. I really do thank you. You know, it was really great to see. That's the whole thing with these sending samples to each other. You know, the whiskey community. You get to try whiskies that you wouldn't even have thought about buying. But hey-ho. Uh, if you've got this far and you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. It just helps the channel grow. And also, you then see videos when they are next released. 
Um, give it a like, please, if you can. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much. Um, I really, really appreciate the support. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. That was, like I say, a 32-year-old blended whiskey. I won't be buying it. It's nice to try it. Say I've tried it. It's in my little book now that I write down all of my uh, tastings and stuff in, just so when I flick back, I can always look at it if someone asks me about it. But anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. You take care of yourselves, and I will definitely see you in the next review. Slanger.